Let's start. The project name is Storage. Before moving forward, let's understand some basic terms. When we say internal storage in Android terms, this means the in-app storage space that is not accessible to other apps and which is not shown in any file manager apps also. This space can only be seen through the device explorer option in the Android Studio. When an Android device only has internal storage given by the smartphone manufacturer company, that internal storage actually works as the external storage in Android terms. And the SD card is obviously an external storage. So when we say internal storage from an Android perspective, we refer to in-app storage. And when we say external storage from an Android perspective, we are either referring to the SD card storage or the smartphone manufacturer provided so-called internal storage. Let's see the project structure. In the Gradle file, set up the view binding. Here we have a main activity, the external storage activity, internal storage activity, external storage manager class, internal storage manager class, and a storage class. And in the UI, we have an activity underscore main dot XML file, an activity underscore external underscore storage dot XML file, and an activity underscore internal underscore storage dot XML file, which are the respective UI files of the three activities. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main dot XML file, we have two buttons. Go to internal storage activity, and go to external storage activity. In the activity underscore external underscore storage dot XML file, we have several buttons like, create the file, write to the file, read from the file, and create cache file. In the activity underscore internal underscore storage dot XML file, we have several buttons like, create the file, write to the file, read from the file, and create cache file. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. When the go to external storage activity button is clicked, we navigate to external storage activity. When the go to internal storage activity button is clicked, we navigate to internal storage activity. This is the external storage manager class. This class has various functions like creating a file, writing to a file, reading from a file, creating cache file, etc. This is the internal storage manager class. This class has various functions like creating a file, writing to a file, reading from a file, creating cache file, etc. This is the storage class. Here we have implemented the singleton object creation pattern so that only a single object of this class would be available throughout the app life cycle. These two functions return the instances of the external and internal storage manager classes. We will use this class in the activities. These are the imports. This is the internal storage activity that implements the onclick listener which handles the onclick events of the various buttons. In the data members, we have fetched the object of the internal storage manager class via the storage class. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of various buttons. This is how we create a file in the internal storage. This is how we write to a file in the internal storage. This is how we read from a file in the internal storage. This is how we create a cache file in the internal storage. These are the imports. This is the external storage activity 
that implements the on-click listener which handles the on-click events of the various buttons. In the data members, we have fetched the object of the external storage manager class via the storage class. In the onCreate function, we set the onClick listener of various buttons. This is how we create a file in the external storage. This is how we write to a file in the external storage. This is how we read from a file in the external storage. This is how we create a cache file in the external storage. Let's run the app. The internal storage files can be seen through the Device Explorer option in the Android Studio. The internal storage files can be found in the following path. Data. Data, package name, and files. The external storage files can be found in the following path. Storage, self, primary, Android, data, package name, files. So that's it. That's how you can use internal and external storage in Kotlin Android. Thanks for watching.